We're going to disturb our news of, we have a news report of a disturbing tragedy that a 10 year old boy was decapitated on the world's, world's tallest slide. It's now, it's probably one of the most disturbing things we have ever done. Done. Okay. The 10 year old will die, die after he was, like I said, decapitated on the world's tallest water slide. <laughs> The one the the 168 feet drop water slide known as Farouk, which is German, was the same. Features a long water slide, like I said, 160 168 feet tall, the same as the same height as Niger Falls. It was even introduced on extreme water slides. All right, sandbags were used at the test. Uh. The, the the people who built this slide is is really not known. August, on August as twenty sixteen, ten year old Caleb was going with with his twelve year old brother, twelve year old brother Nathan. Is that called? Yep. So uh, he so Caleb was Nathan went first and he was waiting for Caleb on the slide. But the result, Caleb. Caleb was seated with next two women, and their com and and their combined weight did not reach the the four hundred pounds. Wait, when the sixty eight with here comes the sixty six the one hundred sixty eight foot drop. Caleb eventually was thrown from the raft and struck with the metal 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 net the safety net net. Man, and then was found in a pool in the pool at the bottom of the side after tumbling down the remaining. The remaining feet. His we can probably learn this. Uh, his mud. His, his brother also came with this. He came to his brother and said, "I just saw my brother die because one of your avengers." And his Caleb Caleb's mother said, "You guys are gonna cry with this." Since the day he was born, he brought a bundle Joe joy for. Abundant joy. He was bored. He made abundant joy. For those who came in contact with. It's a bunch of resource news. Back with another report.